Girl Scouts. My name is Betsy Nichols. I am a program specialist for the Girl Scouts of Minnesota and Wisconsin Lakes and Pines. I work out of our Duluth office in Duluth, Minnesota. This video is part one of four for the five flowers, four stories, three cheers for animals journey, which is also known as the Daisy, it's your story, tell it journey. Before we jump in, let's get started with the Girl Scout Promise and Law. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout Law. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. Great. So over the next four weeks, we will be working through a selection of activities from this journey, which is all about caring for animals. We are going to begin our journey in the United States with this lady. This is a bald eagle. Did you know that the United States has a national bird, just like how we have a national flag? The bald eagle is the national bird of the United States of America. And fun fact, the bald eagle builds the largest nest out of any bird in North America. So today we are going to make our own nests that are all about us. This is one that I have made in advance. I used a uh, brown paper shopping bag and basically all we're doing is squishing the sides down to make a nest. I will show you on this piece of tissue paper. Um, this is a smaller version. I took a, piece of, uh, a couple pieces of tissue paper, folded them in half, and then um, I folded along this seam. I mean, I taped along this seam and I taped along this seam. And so basically you're going to find the opening at the top and you're going to start scrunching your nest down. And so when you scrunch it all the way down, you'll get to the bottom. You'll have a nice little base. It might look almost like a hat, but you'll scrunch it down, scrunch it down, scrunch it down, and you'll have your nest. So why don't you find some supplies to make a nest of your own. It can be made out of paper. It can be made out of tissue paper. Um, it doesn't have to be fancy because we are going to be decorating these. Um, once you have your basic plain nest made, then you can decorate the inside, put some nice comfortable cloth. You can decorate the outside, add some colors, ribbons, some sparkle, whatever you want. Um, it is your nest because we are going to be filling it stuff that is all about you. So your nest should reflect you. Once you have your nest finished and decorated, we are going to put our first item into our nest. And so the first item that we're going to put in there is, I want you to draw a picture of yourself doing something that um, takes care of you. So here's an example that I made. I drew a picture of myself drinking a glass of water because water is important to keep us hydrated and feeling healthy and well. Um, maybe you draw a picture of yourself brushing your teeth or a picture of yourself riding your bicycle or going for a walk or maybe a picture of yourself eating some fruits and vegetables. But whatever you do, I want you to draw a picture of yourself doing something that keeps you healthy and well and we're going to put it in our nest. All right, so that's the first thing that we are going to put in our About Me nests. And I want you to hang on to this. We are going to be revisiting our About Me nests every single week and adding to them. So that also means that every single week, if you want to add a few more decorations to your nest, you can do that. All right. And then the other thing that I did was I started an 
animal mural. So a mural is something usually that you see outside. It's really large. It has lots of pictures and drawings and paintings on it. So we are going to be making our own animal murals that we will be adding to every single week. And so since we learned a little, about, little bit about the bald eagle, I drew a bald eagle. Here's the mom bald eagle and here's the baby bald eagle and they are hanging out in their nest, the largest in North America. Um, so this is my animal mural. Yours does not have to be on cardboard. Um, it can be um, however you want to make it. So if you have construction paper, if you have scrapbooking paper, if you have plain white printer paper, whatever art supplies you have at your disposal, you can make a beautiful mural out of. So this is mine. I'm going to hang on to this and keep it in a safe place just like I did for my about me nest. So there you have it. That um, is what we are going to be doing for this first activity of our um, It's Your Story, Tell It journey. Um, I hope you have fun creating. I know I did. And I really hope that you, um, you know, share pictures of your nests, of your murals with us on our Facebook page. And I hope that I will see you next week. Before I go, I will close things out with make new friends and a friendship circle. So sing it with me. Make new friends, but keep the old. One is silver and the other's gold. A circle is round. It has no end. That's how long I want to be your friend. Bye, Girl Scouts. <laughs>